Well, the minister has a very difficult job on his hands because government has mismanaged our money for decades now. We're going to be specifically looking for three things. Firstly, we want to know what the minister is going to be doing about growth. We also want to see what he's going to say about debt and also how he's going to protect vulnerable South Africans from the rising cost of living. If we look at growth, we know our economy is not growing because government has made the wrong choices. Government is actually getting in the way of business thriving in South Africa. So what we want to hear from him are structural reforms that he's going to start making. So instead of giving additional money to the state-owned enterprises, we want him to tell us what he's going to do to remove red tape, for example, and encourage entrepreneurship. That, of course, is going to happen in February, but he will now set the policy for that. So what we want to know is how is business going to operate? in South Africa, given that government is standing in the way. What we need to do is get government to be positioned properly. Government currently sits at the centre of our economy. What we want government to do is focus on what it should be doing, for example, providing infrastructure, healthcare, education, supporting vulnerable people, and then getting out of the way and allowing business to thrive. So we want to hear what he has to say about kick-starting economic growth that we need. On debt, government has been saying for quite a while that it's going to be cutting the debt. Now we know that that's not feasible given the state of our economy as a result of government's mismanagement. Also, the minister's now been talking about adding ESCOM's debt onto the national balance sheet. Now we know what that means is that interest increases, so more needs to be paid over the next three years. It crowds out service delivery, especially to the most vulnerable people, and it doesn't enable the economy to grow. So we want to be hearing very clearly from the minister what he's going to be doing to meet the Treasury's own targets to cut debt over the next three years. We don't believe that that's going to happen. We think it's actually going to increase. And then on the most vulnerable South Africans, we know that the cost of living is spiralling. We don't think the minister needs to wait until February to make any announcements because we are in a crisis. South Africans are battling to put food on the table and we believe that it is possible to make it less expensive. The DA has proposed a comprehensive increase to the VAT, zero rated VAT basket of food so that South Africans can get more protein onto their table. We did raise the matter in Parliament. The Minister said he would subject our list to a panel of experts. If we asked him, we have done that and we believe that it is doable. We also believe that in addition to reducing VAT on the expanded basket, it is also possible to have a basic income grant, a conditional basic income grant of 585 Rand a month that would be available universally. There is enough space for that. Government will tell us that there's a trade-off. If, if they're going to provide uh, support, they're going to have to increase VAT, for example. We don't believe that's the case. We believe there's more than enough space in our economy to fund it if government properly managed our economy. We will also be looking very closely at any announcements he might be making on fighting corruption. We know that there is a problem that South Africa faces potential grey listing in February next year because we have not been managing money laundering in our economy. We have also not been managing the flows of uh, terrorist financing that comes through our economy. We have fallen very short on that and we expect the Minister to make some announcements on that today. Um, so essentially, we, 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 we expect the Minister to be showing the path forward for South Africa. We expect him to pack out his policies on which he will be building his budget for February. The DA has a comprehensive plan for an economic recovery in South Africa. We think that it's very much doable and we will be comparing what the Minister has to say to what we have said we believe should be the priorities for economic growth.